Hey, let's talk spec comics again. Let's start. Ladies and gents, Rob here. Okay guys, so listen, I went to my one of my favorite stores in the area, 2B Continue Comics, run by Daryl and Frank. Those guys rock. Got a little haul of comics here to show you. Pretty good books. Thank you, Daryl, for the really good deal. Let's see what I got. Okay, this book is Marvel Tales 239, which reprints an earlier story. And this book, this series had a really cool Tom McFarland art, and these books are uh, well, in high grade, they're really desirable. And if you also if you need a book for Todd to sign, well, you got this book right here. Anyway, these books can be had for, you know, a couple of bucks, but these things in 9.8 go for $150 sometimes or more. I think the last sale in this book was around 160 bucks. So if you see these books and they're super high grade, and especially if they're newsstand, which is even more desirable, these books, the like spec books, only if they're in high grade but they're, they're cool books to get. Okay, this next book is Amazing Spider-Man 332, a book that had a, kind of a cool Venom cover, and, you know, for a while, it was never really worth a lot. This is Eric Larson's, I guess, first iteration of Venom, I think, 332. And this book used to be a dollar book for a long time, but now it's, you know, this book now, in, like, very fine, goes for about 20 and you get to the higher grades, well, the price can go from 80 to, if it's CGC 9.8, over $100, which is insane. But the reason why this book got popular is because this is the first time we see Venom with a crazy long tongue, which McFarlane never did in his comics. And as a result, because of, uh, I guess this is Eric Larson's signature thing for Venom, we all know Venom with a tongue because of Eric Larson. So, this book is now desirable, and, but you can still find it sometimes in dollar bins. If you do, get it. Comic a good spec. It is now, because it's the first time we see Venom with the long, crazy tongue. Whenever I see it's cheap, I buy it. Spectacular Spider-Man 158, the first cosmic Spider-Man. A uh, character who I hope we see in the Spider-Verse somewhere along the way, you know, it'd be kind of cool. You never know. In this book, I got this book. Price varies. It's not very much because the character. This book was not is not rare at all. But it's a cool book nonetheless to me. And this is more of just a fun pick. And I think if we ever see him in the animated verse, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool. I think this is probably not a great spec, but for a couple of bucks, I like it. This is a book that wasn't expensive for a long time. Mage Number Six by Comico. This is a book that can be had once again in dollar bins for a while. However, because Grendel got popular recently, well, this is, as you can see here on the book, the first Grendel in color. And this book could be, I think it goes for about 20 bucks or so, I think. And if we see Grendel, in something, you know, if it's in development or something. You know, the first color Grendel, it might be worth getting. I think this is probably a good spec. Grendel's, Grendel's gotten kind of popular right now, so if you see these books, I say go for it. This next book is pretty cool. Angela Asgard's Assassin, number one. It's the first appearance of Sarah. It's also a really cool Scotty Young cover. I think it'll go great with the Guardians of the Galaxy number five. That's Angela's first full appearance in the MC, in the Marvel comics. And this is Angela's companion, Sarah. This is her first appearance in comics. If Angela comes, I'm sure she'll be coming shortly afterwards. This book could be had for about 20 bucks. I think it's a good book to get. I think it's a great spec, by the way. And um, you see these in the cheap bins, because sometimes, this one you probably can't find a cheap bin because the cover's kind of cool, but there are other covers that are worth getting, and they can be had for, I don't want to say in the dollar bin necessarily, but they might be in there. If you see them, get them. Okay, I picked up Rise Zero. 
Now, I bought this as kind of a nostalgia buy because right now the Valiant Universe, as far as movies goes, is kind of like limbo right now. The Bloodshot movie that came out didn't do well because it came out right as theaters are closing down. So, I mean, it didn't do well. I don't think it was, the movie wasn't that great, but I did enjoy it. You know, it's a fun watch. This character on the cover is Bloodshot. And this book shows the history or the future of the Valiant Universe, which is kind of cool. This is a good spec. I bought for a couple of bucks. It's a good read, but the Valiant Universe right now is not in a good place. So I would say not a good spec unless you want a good read book. And in the future, you never know. But for a couple of bucks, sure, why not? And now this book is Submariner 19 from 1969, so it's Silver Age. The first appearance of Stingray. Now, Walter Newell, who becomes Stingray, his first appearance is in Tales to Astonish 95, which is a cool book. So, Namor is supposed to be coming to the MCU. Everybody's buying Tiger Shark, they're buying a Tuma. This book might be worth getting also. I think they're both buddies. I think in its issues, I think they fight sometimes, but eventually they become friends. They help, help each other out. Another funny thing about Stingray was in the Armor Wars, Tony Stark, Iron Man actually went after Stingray, I guess, I guess a Stingray's armor technology, and um, pissed him off. So that's an interesting thing, you know, fact you may not have known. All right, guys, you asked for a comic giveaway. Let's see what I'll give away this time. All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna do another comic giveaway, and this time it'll be a mystery box. I'm over 2,000 subs right now. Give me the 2,100, and I'll go do the drawing. And what I'll do is, along the way, I'll be adding comics to it. But first, let me show you some of the comics I have here right now that are gonna be in the first group here. And by the way, this will be one prize, one big grand prize, not multiple prizes. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna do something different Maybe in different giveaways, but anyway, the first comic is Predator Cold War number one. Web of Spider Man issue 70, the first Spider Hulk. Poe Dameron number one, first BB 8. Fantastic Four 352, the first cameo of Mr. Mobius. And then we have Spawn 306. First appearance of Raptor. And this book goes for about 35 plus. I checked the price right now. So anyway, ladies and gents, if you want in the contest, just ask me in the comments and I'll say you're in. I'll put your name in the hat here with the other names. So, and then we'll do a big drawing once I hit 2100. Now one of the requirements is you have to be subscribed to the channel. You know, I'll check. And then we'll see once I reach 2100. And by the way, I'll be adding comics as we go along too. So there'll be more than just this by the time it's done. So whoever wins is in for a big surprise. So, all right, folks, I hope you like the comics. I'll be seeing you later. Bells ring it, diamonds bling it, carols sing it, famous season.